Welcome to the Roundwood Bulletin's webcast for Sunday, January 16th, 2011. I'm Candace Cooksey Fulton, staff writer and columnist for the Bulletin, and here are some of the top stories we'll have in our Sunday paper. Jury selection is expected to begin Tuesday morning in the 35th District Court in the trial of Chris Dias, who claims he uses marijuana for medical and religious purposes and has chosen to represent himself. Defense attorney Rudy Taylor has been appointed standby counsel, meaning Taylor will be available to answer questions from Diaz. Taylor replaces Fred Franklin, who died in November, in standby counsel. The 59th Annual Brown County Youth Fair concludes Saturday night with the crowning of the Miss Brown County Fair Association and the premium sale. We'll bring you the major bid amounts from the sale, pictures from events throughout the week, and some show results. We will also announce who the reigning Miss Brown County Fair Association will be. This year, four candidates have vied for the title. They are Keeley Allen, representing Bangs FFA, Chastity King, representing Zephyr 4-H and FFA, Jordan Cadenhead, re representing Early 4-H, FFA, and FCCLA, and Rebecca McFarlane, representing May 4-H. Danielle Dimbo is the 2010 Miss Brown County Fair Association. Also on Saturday, the plans for Brownwood High School's future Gerald Thomas Agricultural Science Center were unveiled. Thomas is a longtime and well-remembered ag teacher at the school. In our sports coverage, how about those Howard Payne Lady Jackets? Those girls made an impressive two-game sweep in Abilene, beating McMurray on Thursday and Hardin-Simmons on Saturday. You'll get all these stories and more in our Sunday edition of the Brownwood Bulletin. Buy the paper at your local newsstand or find us here at Brownwood Bulletin dot com.